Each airport in the National Aerospace System has unique and distinct characteristics. This can sometimes lead pilots to use the wrong surface in taxi, takeoff, or landing operations. Let's take a look at some of these tricky areas from the flight deck. Centennial Airport is one of the 25 busiest airports in the nation, averaging around 1,000 takeoffs and landings per day. It is located 20 miles south-southwest of Denver International Airport, on the south end of the metro area near the Denver Tech Center, a major business district. Numerous flight schools, combined with significant business jet and helicopter traffic, present a challenging airport environment for pilots of all experience levels, as well as for the air traffic control operation. The airport configuration consists of two very closely spaced parallel runways, runways 17 left and right and 35 left and right, plus the non-intersecting runway 10 and 28. The taxiway system consists of parallel taxiways and a complex network of uncontrolled ramp areas providing access to airport services and parking located predominantly at the northeast corner of the airport. The closely spaced parallel runways with staggered thresholds present pilots with several areas of concern. First, the risk of landing on a wrong runway is always an issue with runways in this configuration. Pilots sometimes hear and read back one instruction, then execute another. Increased awareness is essential any time a pilot operates in this environment. Furthermore, in this case, the runways are a mere 700 feet centerline to centerline. A potential serious risk occurs when aircraft operating on 17 left or right or 35 left or right overshoot the base to final turn, conflicting with aircraft on the parallel final. Due to the proximity of the parallel traffic, expect TCAS advisories to occur while arriving or departing either of the parallel runways. A final note for runway 17 left arrivals is to expect low-level helicopter traffic northbound and or southbound just east of the 17 left final and in the vicinity of the reservoir three miles north of the threshold. This is typical for the airport. Listed as Hotspot 3, the next area of concern is located at Taxiway Charlie 1 and Runway 10. Aircraft running up or taxiing on Taxi Lane Charlie and given the instruction Runway 10 Taxi via Charlie 1, sometimes miss the hold short lines for the runway. This confusion may be due to the fact that the hold short line is located immediately upon entering Taxiway Charlie 1. Increased attention to taxiway markings and signage is essential while operating in this area. Another noteworthy feature of Centennial and other high-altitude airports is the increased distance on the taxiway from the runway itself to where the corresponding hold short lines for that runway are located. A good example of this can be found at Hotspot 4, the intersection of taxiways Bravo and Bravo 8. Aircraft clearing runway 17 right and instructed, Taxi via Bravo, Bravo 8, hold short runway 17 left, have missed the hold short line and crossed runway 17 left without clearance. The hold line for runway 17 left is immediately after making the turn from Bravo onto Bravo 8. Pilots need to stop here in order to hold short of runway 17 left. Hotspot 2 is the intersection of taxiways Alpha, Alpha 8, and Alpha 9 -er. It is a large concrete area and can be confusing if pilots are not familiar with the airport. Moving map displays or the airport diagram can help pilots maneuver through this challenging area. In addition, the tower is always willing to help, especially if the pilot states they are unfamiliar with the airport. The last hotspot can be found at the intersection of taxiway Alpha 1 and runway 17 left. Marked as hotspot 1, the issue at this area concerns aircraft instructed runway 17 left taxi via Alpha, and then instructed to monitor tower. In the past, aircraft have taxied onto the runway and departed without clearance. Monitoring the tower does not constitute clearance to enter the runway or take off. It means continue holding short of the runway and listen on the tower frequency for further instructions. Pilots must pay close attention to the frequency so as not to delay traffic by missing the tower's call and clearance. Another thing pilots need to be aware of is that the run-up areas are not at the hammerheads at the ends of taxiway alpha. 
The north run-up area is adjacent to Alpha 2. The midfield run-up area is on the west edge of the ramp between Alpha 6 and Alpha 8. And the south run-up area is adjacent to Alpha 16. When your run-up is complete, contact ground control from the run-up area, advise them your run-up is complete, and await further taxi instructions. The last item to be aware of is Ramp Taxi Lane Charlie. It is not a taxiway and is not controlled by the tower. It is on the ramp, parallel to the entire length of runway 10 and 28. Pilots need to exercise increased caution when operating to and from this area due to the close proximity of hold short locations for the runway. Pilots need to remember that when in doubt or unsure of any instruction or of their aircraft position, the safest and easiest fix is to ask the tower for clarification. They are there to help. Familiarizing yourself with hotspots and other configuration issues at Centennial Airport will help you make better decisions and, along with the tower, keep the operation safe and efficient. Now you're better prepared for your trip to Centennial Airport. It's always better to know before you go.